Hey guys, Wally Davidson here. Welcome to my channel on YouTube. Hope you've all had a good day. The day I thought I would do a video for you to watch on the crimping tools that I've got in my crimps and also some ferrules that I use with my uh, crimper for the ferrules as well for putting them onto wires. I've brought in some of my old ones for you to let you see. And uh, today I was in Screwfix, the two that's straight in front of you, they're brand new. I'm going to do an unboxing of them. One of them, they came from Screwfix, guys. Screwfix. And, uh, can you see it? Ratchet crimping tool. 11 .99. That was for the one that's still in the box. And the crimping tool, the other one, which is at this side, that was 5 39 it was on a clearance sale. They only had one left, eh? So, or I would have bought two. One of them's going to be for a box in here, my big toolbox, and the other one I'm going to put in the box that's I use for my work that's in the car. So, that one there, in the box there, that was 12 quid, 11 99 and for £5.39, pence, that bad boy there. I mean, I, I couldn't grumble at that. Now, guys, they're no. Your expensive ones, obviously. I just use them for DIY and that. Uh, so they're just good enough for what I use them for. Right, so, let's, what one will we open first then? I'll tell you what, we'll go for the cheapest one first. We'll open this one. But first of all, let's get the light and see if we can... It doesn't really say nothing on the box. All it says is... 220mm, 9 inch, 05 to 6mm. Okay. Turn the box round. Right, we'll have a wee read, guys. I'll let you read it. As I say, use, is this a video? You can pause the screen if you want. It's a UK manufacturer, Kingfisher International Products Limited, 3 Sheldon Square, London, blah, blah, blah. UK manufacturer, that's oh, Amsterdam. <laughs> Made in China. Well, hey, what is the new ideas? And I'll, for the other languages, I'll just go down slowly. As I say, you can pause the screen, guys. And just this bit at the bottom. Okay, right. Let's get it out of this packet, guys. It's never been out before, so it's still, still stapled. So, let's get it out. There's a staple there. Just watch your fingers with these things, guys. It's the first unit. Staple there. Second unit. Okay, get a staple and get it in the bin, and that should just slide open, in theory. Grab that, and it's no, we're going to play the game, that should, there you go, there you go guys, bring that out of the road, package in, mind recycle! Everybody recycle. Okay. There they're there. So they're nine inch long, guys. Nine inch long. Cheap, cheap set. As long as they work, that's what's important. See the wee dots, you see the teeth. Let's hang on the new. That's for the yellow ones. That's for the blue ones, the crimps, and that's for the red ones. 0 0.5 to 1.5, so that'll be for this one. 2.5 for this one, and 4 to 6 millimetres ones goes in that one. Okay, as I say, I've never used these before, guys. You put them in and squeeze, obviously. Put them in and squeeze. 
you know, a thing I did notice. See how there's a gap. Right. Right, we'll put this on to the side. Okay. That's the first set. I'm trying to not make the video too long, guys. We'll get this one. And let's have a look. Mind your fingers, guys, when you're using a knife. All the time. Knife bleed away when you're not using it. They want anybody cutting their seal. So, sorry, before I'm open it, I'll let you read that. Ratchet crimping tool. Blah, blah, blah. Kingfisher. International. So that's made with Kingfisher as well. You can pause the screen and read it, guys. Uh, safety goggles, gloves, and all the usual bump, pot forged steel. Okay. Come on, open this box, guys. Get it out. Let's see what it's like. Cardboard. Recycling. This one's a bit better packaged. Mm. Put that out there. That could be used for something else. No. Hey, look at that, guys. Look at that. Right. See, before I do anything, get what I want to do. Put them together. Aye, the exact same. Exact same, guys. Basically, that one there's got forged steel printed on it, but it's ex exact same set of clippers. Crimpers, sorry, crimpers. Okay, so. Let's see, you've got your yellow for there, for putting your yellow cramps, blue for your blue cramps, and red for your red cramps. So, that's it, I'm so open. Can you see that? Oh, what do you see? It's shut. Okay, right. That's the crimpers, right? I want to show you my old ones. We mold wire cutters. Now these were. This is a Halford set I've had for years. Now guys, they're knackered. They're no. They didn't even cut at the end anymore. See this bit here. I don't know if you can really see that. That bit's twisted for that bit. Doesn't even sit flat anymore. They're done. They're actually fit for the bin. I just never ever done it because you can still strip wire with them and do your crimping. There. See how you've got your red, your blue and your yellow. They still work in the wee holes. See the wee holes? You see here? You can actually strip wire with them still. I've got that set, Halfords, and I've got this set, Amtec, and guys, they're pretty, wo they're, wo they're used, hey, guys, they still work, but they're used, tell my mechanic that's never ever had a pair of them, or somebody, it's DIY, again, I mean, they're in a box somewhere, uh, I mean, so we're going to this while we're talking about it, this one here, CK, wire cutters uh, the crimpers on this is here this bit here for crimps see the yellow the blue I'll take my hand away it's yellow blue and the red and as I say that can be used as a crimper as well and I love these they're CK branded wire cutters that's a wire cutter there it's quite sharp still as I say and you can crimp cable and um, what I'll do is, I'm going to show you some crimps. Uh, I'll show you what crimps I've got. Then I'll show you the ferrules. We'll do some crimping. And then I'll show you how to put a ferrule on. And what a ferrule is for people that doesn't know. And then we'll put it on wire for you. I've got shrink tubing stuff there. 
I think it's, you put that on your wire once it's on so that you can put heat to it and it'll like seal the cable so the water can't get into it and that but you'll see that right in fact I'm not need to move that all days move this right now I've got boxes I've got that box there that box comes out the box that I've got like my hand toolbox that I've got in the car you'll have seen that in one of my videos and this one here is one that I keep in with my other tools in my bigger box and that's just showing you what's inside it all the wee individual bits guys right so let's see a wee look through what's here right that's obviously your speed connector this one I'm going to try and keep them at the centre of the screen for you right so that speed connector turns round and actually clips in to that. So if you've got a break in a wire, you can crimp that onto one side of the wire and then crimp that onto the other side and then join it up or put a switch in between a fuse, anything. That one there is the same as that but without the cover on it obviously for a speed connector. You, that speed connector there can go into that one. The only difference is though, it's blue, so I wouldn't put that on a live wire. Come now we're talking like cars in here, in vans. That's all I use them for. Um, because that's no covered. So if you made that onto a live wire and that was to lean or touch against another wire, you could cause a short and blow fuses, okay? The red one. That'll go into the, the red version of these, right? Which is this, this here. See it? You want me to show you? What I'll do is, I'll show you. What I'll do is I'll individually pick them up, guys. It's going to be the easiest way to do it, and I'll actually show you me doing it. So, if I can put that at a sort of angle like that, right? So there's the red one. I've got off your big fingers, guys. You just see the red one, just say, cable goes in there, both ends, and you crimp them. Oh, I'll try to get in the centre for you, it's hard. Right, these two here, shove in, and clip together. See how that works? And that gives you your seal. The only thing is, if that's a live wire, you want that covered. I've heard folks saying, ah, put tape round. You can put tape round it. Okay, an insulating tape. But I would rather use that shrink tubing and heat it and shrink it onto it. Now these ones here, there's two of them. You put a cable on that end, right? And a cable on that end or that end. So if you've got a cut in a cable and then you crimp it both ends and then that gives you your fix for the cable basically. Then all you hate to do is heat that and heat that and that shrinks down and shrinks down onto the cable and that actually gives you your seal. Keep some waterproof in that, eh? These are the smaller versions. These ones. They do the same. A red one and a blue one. So that you could save your for your live wire and your air, other wire. If it's just like a positive and a negative. Just put a wire in halfway, crimp it, put the other wire in halfway and crimp it. Okay? I mean, it's quite straightforward stuff. This one here, is, I call it a bullet. I don't know what you, there's probably that many different names you can use for it. This is another way you could do a join-in cable. Put your cable in there, crimp it, and put your cable in this one and crimp it and then it's just a bullet connector you just shove that in there guys and see if you shove that right in it gives you the seal it gives you the seal okay that's a bullet connector these ones one and two are for if you've got something with a screw on it a terminal you don't need to take the screw right out, guys. You just slatting the screw 
a wee bit, right? And it being like a fork, it just slides in and under the screw and then tighten your screw back down. You know, that's red for life and blue for neutral or whatever, uh, whatever you want to call it, as I say. So that's so you don't need to take the screws right out, okay? These ones, you do. Because it's obviously a circle, a ring, right? You see them? You need to take a screw right out or a nut and bolt on something and actually use it like a washer but it's obviously got a wire on it so you could earth something with that or whatever but as I say that's like the ring type for putting a wire on for it going to something okay now these ones ouch oh. see you've got a wire right in fact guys see the only way I'm going to do this one is right I need to get a pair of pliers I'll show you show you what it does see if you've got a cable and you didn't want to cut it on something right so there's a wee bit of cable right there's a cable you do not want to cut that cable right and what you want to do is open this out can you see how it's got two channels there. Wait, I'll get the screwdriver. Hey, who did I do it? So here. It's got a channel there for going right through. And it's got a channel there where stop a wee bit of plastic there. Can you see that? For the cable stopping. So what you do is you put a cable in to there to the wee bit of plastic to stop so it can't go any further right and see the cable that you're not wanting to damage that you're connecting on to and that's what i mean it's connecting this cable's already a permanent fixture in something right so that's the outside cable so what you could technically do is fold that like that to, onto the cable that you're connecting onto right and see this one shove it in you can't really see, but it'll hit that wee plastic bit. And that's it. That's as far in as it'll go. Shut it. Right. Get your pliers. And squeeze it. Just squeeze it. That didn't work. Just hang on. Open this out again, guys, because that didn't go in far enough. I thought it did, but obviously not. But what you'll notice is, see when I open this again, see how that's went through that one, right? In fact, this is probably the best way to show you. It's went through that one, but see the other one? That was meant to go down and into there, so it'd go through that. It's never done it, right? So, oh, here today, take this back out. Take this off. I'm trying to look through the phone and do this, guys, and it's no easy. You can see, that I'm, like you can see it all right. So, see the wee cutter there that grips on? Now you can actually see the wee metal thing. Right? I'm going to do it that way, this way. Push it there, right? As I say, put that back to where it was. See how it's in now? Maybe I should have done that the first time. So that I can see that that is past the gripper, right? And then shut it. Okay. Get the pliers. That's better. I shouldn't have done it squeezing that, and that just clips shut. That's me being a donkey, guys. Right, so that's your wire. Your permanent wire. That's whatever you're clipping onto, and new. You've got a feed off it with this one. So that'll not come out. That's quite tight, guys. And that can't come out because that's still a solid bit of wire. Okay? So you get the gist of that. Okay? 
And obviously, that's blue and that's red. So if you're putting on a live cable, as I say, just ignore the colours of this. It being, it's an earth or whatever you, it's an earth wire. Okay. Now, that's about it. What I'm going to show you now, is this, I put these to the side. See this bit wire? I'll get the wire strippers, right? And we'll put a crimp on it. So, these wire strippers, move that to the side, we don't need that out there. You can adjust them to what length you want. Yeah, I'm only wanting a short bit of cable on this. So, put it in there till it hits the stop. See the pl plastic stop there? Hit this and squeeze and let go. Did you see that, guys? And there's how that's done. And then I put my hand on it and tighten it up. Okay, now that's ready for a crimp. What I'm going to do is put a bit of this shrink tube in. That's in that box here. I'll show you it once we get to it. Right. We put a shrink tube in. Shove it on the wire. And I'm going to put this one on it. Okay. So you shove that in. So that it's right in. Right. Into there. Now, set that down. Now, what set will we go for? What do you think? Will we go for the... We'll go for the dealer set. Yeah, that actually feels good. Right. What I'm going to do... Okay. Now... This colour is blue. This is blue, right? So what we're going in is into the middle. So, we need to open this. Put it in there. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to put this in first. I'm not wanting it crimping the new. Even it's actually gripped it already. <laughs> right, see, look, cables on. See the other side. Squeeze it till it clicks, and then it'll open. And look at that. Didn't it work? <laughs> Good chin. I'm trying again. Come on, guys. I'm trying it again. Right, the way I'm going to do it. See, I'm left handed, eh? So I find this awkward. Where does that go down? It goes down in there. That was a mistake I done. Right, it's in now. That I've put further in flush. That's what I did in the day the last time. So it's never really caught the cable right. And then I'll stick my... That's better. And then... Click. And done. Now, come on. Please, didn't prove me wrong. There you go. That's what I've done wrong. I didn't shove that in far enough. So it's actually crimped it on the actual metal. On the crimp. The last gen it crimped there. Which is near the metal. Which is the plastic. Okay. Listen guys, nobody's perfect. But that's a, that's a contact now that can be used. No problem. Right, as I say, see if that was a live cable. You can actually put that there. Right. right. Now, what I've seen a lot of folk doing is using lighters to do it. You can use a lighter, guys. As I say, but... Why waste all your gas? And see if you're sitting at a bench. This is a candle. So, this, as I say, it'll shrink down. Okay. Once you put the heat to it, watch, watch this. 
大好きニューシーダーティーンシー他人公中央中央って。ボダル。Take that away. Be careful when you're using flames, guys. Candles and that. And look at that. Look. Try hold it so you can see it. See how that's covered that. Can you see that? Is that better if I hold it like that? That's actually covered that now. So basically, you can get a speed connector, or you could plug it onto something with a speed connector that's live, and when that goes right in there, yeah, the majority it's covered. Okay, what I mean? Helps cover it. Okay. Right, so you've got a speed connector. You've also, right, we've got to date one more time. So, we'll get this, put that in, get another bit, oh that made a, that was not a good, in fact we'll use a new cable guys because I'm not happy with it, it is all cable that I'm using for to show you, eh? so, it's kind of crap, I think that sounds better, right, so we're left with this, spin it round, I'm going to put a ring on it this time. Put that on it. So that'll basically go in there, guys, right? But what I'm going to do is not hear the same mistakes as the last time. I'm going to put it in the gun first. I let the gun hold it in place. See? There it's hot. Oh! <laughs> that was holding it. The gun's holding it. You see it? Now, when you're putting the cable in, make sure there's nothing sticking out back the way. So, stick it in, make sure it's right in, okay? That's it. There you go. That would work. Sometimes, see if you, you, you strip the cable and it's a wee bit longer, it doesn't really matter. Oh, not really. As I say, but I'm trying to pull that guy's eh? That's quite a solid wee contact there, eh? But that's perfect. That would be me. How would you use that? As I say, you un take a screw and then put that on like a washer onto some terminal or whatever, and there you go. That's how that works. Right, anyway. So, now you, you can how crimps work, roughly. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to... I'm going to show you how to put a ferrule on. Now, for you who don't know what a ferrule is, I'm going to show you. It's these things here. Contents. Now, this box was uh, about 19 and a 9. You got that with all them in it, and you got this. That's a machine for it. See the wee square hole? Oh, no, you can't. Eh? Because getting these shadows in it guys see the square hole and then when you see what it's doing right anyway let's show you the ferrules right that was just a cardboard I cut just to put tape on it so that it would stick this actually shows you what's in it this is ferrules right this is ferrules without the plastic you didn't get this. What you get with this box is the ones with the plastic covers on it. The same as what's on the lid. Right? You didn't get them and them. Alright? What came out there? Right, I'm going to need one of them anyway. So, as I say, let's pick these up. They're that tiny, these things. I'll keep them too. So, I'll probably use them, right? I'll set them in the front. So, basically, this will show you the sizes. There's the sizes that you get, right? The one I find I use the most is E two five zero eight, the fifteen millimeter 
line long ones, the 2.5mm, and that's 250 pieces. That's these ones here. These ones. Alright. These ones here are all mixed. Alright. So, shove that to the back. Right. I've laid two. I'm going to use them. They should do the wire that I've got. Get the crimper. Right. Sorry. Yeah, that is a crimper. The wire cutter. Right. Do that. Okay. We have our wire. Right. Get a spin. That way it tightens it up so that when you put this on. Can you see what I've done there, guys? Put that on and just shoved it on as far as I could. Okay. Stick it in there, in the wee hole in the middle, and then squeeze. And all that does is shut the square and squeeze the crimp onto the wire. Let it go. And look at this. It gives it, I don't know if you can, it gives it a sort of square effect around the cable. But it's strong. It is quite strong. The reason I use them, and a lot of your sparkies and that use them, is putting them into like electro electric boards and that that's, you can what they are guys. Okay, you can put a wire in there and a wire out there. What I've done is opened this end one and shut that one in. Where's my screwdriver? Can you see that there? How the screw... Right, that's better. You see right through that? Can you see the white? And then you can see the screws, how I've got them kind of sh shut down a bit. Right, see how that one's open? What I'm going to do is shove that in there. Right, right in as far as you can go, which is to about halfway. Okay. That's the wire properly in. I'm going to tighten this up. And show you what it does to the ferrule. Right. Now, that's tight enough for what you would need to use it for, right? That's a good grip. Really, I'm going to slacken it, take the ferrule back out. Now, it's touched it, it's flattened it there. But by God, that has gripped. And there's no danger that's coming off. The point I'm trying to make is see if that was just the wire. That if that never had the ferrule on it, that can screw into the wire and probably end up snapping some of them. So it can make it a weak joint for for the power going through it, obviously. If it's not going to be the full cables that's in it, eh? So you put a ferrule on it, it gives it a stronger contact. I'm only going through what I've heard they like sparkies and all that saying about it, but I can for myself, if you watch another YouTube videos, putting ferrules on that. It does make it stronger, the contact stronger, and it does a better job. So it's up to yourself, as I say. This is just things I've learned through watching other people do and what I've seen on YouTube. Uh, uh, they're no deer, as I say, you got all different sizes of them, ferals, all different sizes for all different kinds of cable. And that, as I say, that gives you the sizes there for your ferals. As I say, they're the bigger ones. Okay, that's for. Again, it's. Oh, you get <laughs> very small ones. See? And the hang with this as well. See, that's probably the same one. Mission. See when that goes in there? Oh, that screw's fell out, guys. I've slackened it too much. Yeah, too much aye. see when that's in there like that it's a tidier job the cable's right in there that comes in and shuts on the ferrule 
and there's no way a spark can come out of that and go into something else or jump across to here if the ferrules is on the cable. Ken, have I got you in here? I have. I've got one here, look. See if you shove that on there, guys. Shove it on. Oh, I'll crimp it. See? That's it. That's crimped on solid, guys. Okay, what I mean? And it's tidy round the edge. I don't know where that wee screw went. I'll do that there. It doesn't matter. So, as I say, that can go in and get tightened. In fact, go to where the screw is. You can actually shove that right in. Right, and that'll tighten in there. And it's quite sealed, eh? Quite sealed. Or you see the, the sparkies using them that when they're rewiring your house, the big main board in the house with the circuit breakers and all that. They put ferrules on it and it's a, a it's a tidy job. It's a far tidier job, guys. And that's basically it. Aye. So that's how ferrules work. So they're ferrules, okay? They go on your cable for it to go in to be screwed into contacts or anything like that. That's your crimps. As I say, I've got them there, and I've, as I say, that's just a box. You can see the box with them all in it. That there. Okay. Um, I've done that with the shrinking stuff onto that. So what I'll do is just quickly, before I finish the video, just quickly, shut this. Put that to the side. Put them out the road, because the video's long enough. And I want to put this down guys because I need to open this and let you see this. Now this is stuff that's all handy to have eh? As I say I got this, where did I get this for? Parkside. Is that Liddles? Uh, probably Liddles. It's Liddles or um, Aldi's. Um, that's what you get in it. Okay. Know this. This one here. That's heat shielding. This stuff, that, apart from that, that's just an air from the outer thing. That's heat shielding, guys. Where I got them for, the wee skinny ones, the wee skinny ones, which is doing there, is out of spotlights. See your 500 watt outside spotlights. The cable that's behind the, that goes onto the bulb, obviously heats up really hot. So they're, they're like sleeves that goes over the cable. So that, basically, the heat can't get through them and burn anything, if you can what I mean. Or you get flat ones, like this. That you can, like, I don't know, like in my RC cars, if I've got a motor that heats up or whatever, you can actually put that around it. And it'll stop the heat getting through and onto something else if you've got wires leaning across it or stuff like that. As I say, that's no nothing to do with any of this. That's just heat shielding that you can stuff you can put on wires but this stuff here as i say this is all different sizes for your different size cables and whatever you want to put it on okay you can cut them to what sizes you want this is the bigger ones and then all day you see what i've done with the candle flame a lighter a lot of you use these wee heat guns and that and it actually compacts and goes round what you're wanting it to go round on. That one there. Weird ones and wee tiny ones. As I say, they're all different sizes. You can buy them. As I say, they're no dear. I buy them out of is it Liddles or um, Aldi's. And that's what you get. And I use them all the time. As I say... Um, these new pliers, I've never really had a chance to use them yet, just out the box, you've seen me with them. Right, so technically, that's your crimpers for your uh, ferrules. That's your wire cutters with crimpers on them, CK, right? And that's... The new ones that I got the day. These two. That one there and that one there. 
and I'm all excited to get doing stuff and for to start using them. So anyway, guys, that's it. There's other videos about these terminals getting crimped onto cables and how they work in that. If you go looking hard enough, you don't need to look hard. You just type it in, um, and I'll come up with videos that boys that do all the time. They're probably probably a lot better explaining it than what I did, but. As I say, I just thought I'd share this with you because what I can see, you can see. If you liked this video, guys, sorry it's 40 minutes long. Uh, like and share. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, buy or sell a set. I didn't hate to go and buy dear ones if you're not using them all the time. These ones, I dare say, will be good enough for what I use them for. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Everybody, have a nice day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.